Hi everyone! So today I'm going to talk about how to breed freshwater angelfish. Now the first thing you would need in breeding a freshwater angelfish is to have a male and a female. Um, that most people can't really tell you um, how you would know it because um, it's not an exact science. It's really hard to tell uh, male from female if they're not a year old at least. But once they are one year old, it's really easy because the male develops a bigger hump on the head, like this guy here. These are not altum angels, right? So they naturally have a rounder head. But um, here you go, you see right there. I have actually two couples spawning at the same time. These guys, um, they started second, and these guys in the back. It's a little harder to see, but um, so many fish in. Hold on, I'm gonna try to go. Through the side, through the side. If I can catch that one leaf they've spawned on, I think I could see it right here. Like the leaf is so full. I think they'll need a second one. <laughs> All right. So first difference is the male has a hump on the head. Then a second difference you would see it during spawning ash action. Uh, the female will have her egg tube uh, out, and it's much thicker and bigger than the male, which has a gentle pupilla a lot smaller and uh, pointier. He's taking crap right now, so you can't really see it, but um, yeah, maybe a little bit right there. A little dick. <laughs> As for the female, you see the big egg tube for laying down the eggs. Um, there you go. So another thing you would need in your aquarium is flat surfaces. They love spawning on echinodorus. So give them several echinodorus, if you have more than one couple like me, give them a lot of space, um, echinodorus plants, and they will spawn on them like every week. Once they're in the mood, they're gonna spawn endlessly, okay? But what makes them wanna spawn? All right, what makes them want to spawn? Um, first of all, they like a diversified omnivores diet. Feed them quality pellets for omnivores, um, feed them brine shrimp, spirulina, um, mashed um, peas, well crushed peas, you know, frozen peas, anyways, in the blender. You get the point. Um, and uh, aside feeding them well, um, twice a day, I also do water changes three times a week in this tank, about 15%, 15 to 25, you know, depends on the days. Um, and very slowly fill it up with only cold water. Obviously add the conditioner in it, but uh, only cold water because it imitates the rainfall, right? Rain is always colder than the water. So then they think it's the rainy season every week <laughs> and they get in the mood and they produce crazy amount of eggs. Um, what else? Um, so they need the rain, da 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 da. Yeah, um, another thing, um, most angelfish parents are good parents, but um, I've noticed after the eggs hatch, they tend to start eating their fry. So if you want to keep the most fry possible, I would just cut off the leaf or whatever they spawn on and put it in a separate tank with a heater, with all the same water chemistry, uh, cycled obviously. Um, so cycle a small tank basically, um, the same water chemistry as the main tank where they've spawned. Or make them spawn in a tank and then remove the parents, put them back in a big tank, however you want it, alright? but. Um, most of my angelfish always ate their fry once they hatched, right? So, you want to maximize that. And they're not like uh, discus, they won't feed on the slime coat of the parents, so it's pretty useless to have them together. Uh, just save the little wigglers, and you know, in the meantime, all my discus are looking at me <laughs> like, hello, hello, you two. And these guys in the back, you probably see them spawning also. That's the female. She like jam packed that leaf. Like honestly, I think she'll need a second one. So yeah, um, am I forgetting anything? Oh, I think I'm forgetting something. I'm gonna show you the fry. Come with me. I have to put on the lights again, but um, my fry are right in here. Um, that's a batch of a week ago. I hope you can see them. Where are they? There's one here. I have about twenty. 
They're so small. They're so small. I think they're sleeping actually. I'm such a dummy. <laughs> I'm waking them up. So, where are they? Oh, there's one here on the glass. And then, two mop maybe? It's hard to see them, but I have a few fry in this tank already. So basically when they're done spawning in like two days, I'm going to cut off the leaves of um, where they spawn and I'm going to put it back in this tank. Hopefully these new wigglers, the 10 I have in there, that have survived, um, they won't eat the new eggs. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be fine. So if you have any other tricks to make your disco, I mean your angelfish spawn, let me know. Alright, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.